here at the Union Square Holiday Market. It just opened a few days ago. I mean, by the time this video goes out, it will have been open for a while. to be exploring this market. I came here last year, actually recorded a video for you, but I lost the footage. So here we are again. It's gonna be a different experience because it's my second time, but let's check it out. Wow, it's actually not that crowded, which is very surprising to me on a Friday in the middle of the day, kind of early afternoon with good weather. I mean, people take off early for Fridays, and I mean, because it's a weekend, it's a great time to be at the market. Unlike, if you check out my Bryant Park Winter Village video, it was pouring rain the whole time. Wow! All right, let's zoom through the market and then we'll slow down. Wow, so many vendors, especially jewelry, which you know I love, so I'm excited to come back and slow down. Oh, this is such a cute yeah. section. I can spend hours and hours at markets. I spent, I think, four hours, maybe longer, in the holiday market at the Bryant Park Winter Village. I don't think I have as much time to be able to spend today. I make this mistake every time I think I'm done and then I discover more vendors. And I remember that happened to me last year. And the reason is because when you enter in this market, for some reason I just turn to the left. But there is something to the right. I think we sped through all the vendors. Here's a list of them. And now let's go back and go through a little more slowly. Time for a little laugh. I was filming a clip, but I was in the middle of speaking, so I didn't do anything. I just acted normal and continued doing what I was doing. But I heard some people in the background going, is that a YouTuber? I think she is. Like, yes, I guess I am. But I wish they had stopped and asked because I would have given them my channel so they could see this video when it comes out. But I was busy and by the time I turned around, they were gone. But if you ever see me out filming, please come up and say hi. I would love to meet you. What I like about these rings that you've got here is they're dainty statements. Yeah, that's really cute. Everything here is hand hammered. After it's cut, right? After it's cut. After the metal is cut. One of them. I actually also signed uh, my name in the back. Really? Yeah, hard to see. Oh, wow. No, I can see it. I can see it. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's each, so cool. Each one of them has my name. That's what I'm telling customer. If you lose your receipt, that's your receipt. I love that. And it sort of proves sort of that it's it's authentic. It is from Shea. Wow. There is this place called Once a Book, and it really stood out to me last year, so I wanted to show it to you here. It's these books that have been turned into clocks, and I just think it's so creative. I saw these in the Oprah magazine once, and literally ever since then I've always been like, I really hope that I can use these as my wedding favor. Oh my God. Wouldn't that be cool? She just hammered this ring to show me what it looks like when you hammer, what is it called, sparkly wire? Yeah, sparkle wire. Sparkle wire, I've never seen this before. Okay, I walked out with the sparkle wire, Jacqueline. Beautiful work, it's so unique for stackable jewelry. That's what I love about her work. So I've got the website right here. Definitely give it a look. Beautiful jewelry, beautiful person. My first time spraying what air plants. Whoa! I like this way of displaying it. That's really pretty. Oh yeah, look at this, it's so cute. Unfortunately, whoever's running Jiggy is not here right now because I love Jiggy puzzles. I have this one and I just remember seeing these last year and being like, how cool is it that it's artistic and a puzzle? Brooklyn Bay has the cutest dainty jewelry. Look at these necklaces with the cute little jigsaw puzzle and 
the pizza and the envelopes and the bike home. I had to try on the pizza. So New York. So cute. Moves your boobs, secondhand berries, and the originality here is off the charts. I am newly obsessed with the New York Puzzle Company, and here I am back again. It's got so many fun designs by the New Yorker and Vogue. Mm, so cool. Last year, I got one of these ginger snaps that's the size of my face, and it's fantastic. It's from the Breezy Ho Orchard, and I'm basically starting to get one every time I see them. Although what's interesting is I paid $7 for this cookie. $7. Even though it's a huge cookie, that's still expensive for a cookie at the Bryant Park Winter Village. But here, they're selling it for $5, which is the price it was last year here. So I don't know if it's just more expensive over there or if, if the pricing is so confused or something. But I'm just saying, if you're going to get one of these and you're not going to get everywhere you go like I am, make sure you get it at a village where it costs less, like Union Square Holiday Market. I got my Breezy Hill Orchard cookie, and if you enjoyed this market, go ahead and like this video because you probably liked the video, you stayed around to watch the market, and go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so you're aware when other videos like this one come up, and of course you can comment any requests for what else you want to do with me here in New York City. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!